Hello students. Today we are going to continue with math revision 3. I hope all of you are completing the given activity which is a practice for your exam which will be held on the 17th of August. So prepare yourself nicely. Now with regards to the activities that I told these eight children to send, I really appreciate Via Elsa Shibu, uh, Mayang Patil, Sairat Suryavanshi, Shatakshi Pawar, Samiksha Shinde and Arnav Telkar for your really neat work and completed good work. And I was very happy with it. But Kavya Dhatir and Arush Kadam have not yet sent it to me. So I don't know why it is here. So parents, I want you to make a note of this. Let's continue with our revision. So you will write on the last page since we are not we have not yet made our class of book this time. We are doing everything in the homework book. On the last page, you will take your last page and you will write there as activity 5. You will write question 1 as choose the correct option. And the sub question under that is what is the place value of the underlying digit? Now these are again your MCQs. This is the pattern what we would be following for your examination. So please, you may find it easy, but then you will be given a limited time and you have to complete these set of questions in that given time. So the first question, as I have written there, what is the place value of the underlined digit? So every question, one digit is underlined. You have to choose the correct option. So the first one is 1,365 and the digit 6 is underlined. So you have to write whether it is 60 or 5 or 1000 or 300. Any of these four options. The second one is 2480. Now here zero is underlined. So your four options are option A 400, option B 20, option C 0 and option B 800. Your third one is 1,976. Option A is 1,000. Option B is 70. Option C is 900. And option B is 6. So you either circle the correct answer or you can also put a tick for the correct answer. Now the fourth question for this question is 7,834. Now, the digit that is underlined is 3. So, you have to check out the place from your right-hand side, whether it's in your unit place, your tens place, hundred place, or thousand place. And then, see the value, whether it is 4, or 30, or 800, or 7000. So, accordingly, you see what digit is underlined. Choose the correct option and tick it or circle the correct answer. Then we a line after each. Then you've got the fifth question, 555. And the digit that is underlined is 5 towards your extreme left. Now, the four options again here are option A is 5, option B is 50, option C is 500, and option B is 5000. Then you draw a line across the page, take a new page, and write activity 6. Again, it is MCQs. Choose the correct option. What is the place of the underlying digit? Now here you have to write the place. So whether it is thousand place, hundred place, tens place, or unit place. So the first number is nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. And the digit that is underlined is nine, that is towards your extreme left. So the options given are thousand. 100, 10, and units. So you will either circle the correct option or you will tick the correct option. Leave a line. And second one, you will write 4,519. So the options are, and the digit that is underlined is 1. So you check whether it is in the units place, 10th place, 100th place, or the 1,000th place. So we've got Option A as 10, then we've got 100, 
then we've got thousands and then we've got units. So you underline the correct option or you can also circle the correct option. Number three is 646. The digit that is underlined is six, that is to your extreme left. And the options are A is units, B is N, C is hundred, and D is thousand. Now you will circle the correct option or you can also pick the correct option. Leave a line. Number four, 1708. And the options are thousand, units, ten, and hundred. So you will circle the correct option. Number five, 2436. The digit that is underlined is four. Option A is 1000, option B is units, option C is 10, and option D is none of the above. So if you think that uh, this answer is not there in option A, B, or C, then maybe option D is the correct answer for you. So none of the above means it's neither A, it's neither B, nor it's C. So your answer could be option D because you think what the answer could be and then I have got, you must have already got your portion but I am giving it to you again. Portion for unit test 1 and this is only your math portion. The topics that we have are number and number name, comparing numbers, reduced form and expanded form, place value, ascending and descending order, before, after, and between, and addition. So, start revising on these topics and complete your activities very, very neatly, leaving a line, drawing a line. And I will ask Philomena Miss also to check your work, whether you are doing it on time and neatly. So, see you, children. Bye bye.